Hey guys. Hello. Oh wow, it just went bright. So, I have basically spent the whole day watching Vampire Diaries. That's that's not an over exaggeration at all. I've literally done nothing but watch Netflix. So tonight I'm gonna be giving you guys a little self-care night slash my self-care routine. I did one of these around six months ago in January, but basically I feel like I just put way too much effort, it was so extra and it wasn't really real. I was still getting used to YouTube and it was more of me just like making everything super extra. I feel like I literally haven't done a face mask in a month. And there is literally nothing stopping me. And if not, I'm literally just going to watch The Vampire Diaries for the rest of the night. Also, I need to open my blinds because it's 5pm and my blinds are shut. Okay, wow. I look a mess. And I also have a pimple. <sighs> I'm out of breath. So a few weird things happened whilst I was on my run. So the first thing, as I was around one kilometer into my run, this old man stopped and was like, ooh, young lady showing us up. And I was like, okay. I sort of just smiled and ran past and like sprinted and just hoped for my life. And then halfway into the second kilometer, I really needed to wee. So I just stopped and walked for a little bit. So I literally didn't wee myself. And there was this lady that walked past me with a dog and it just started barking at me. Like it felt like screaming at me and I have no idea why. I honestly feel a lot better after the run. Even though there was a little walk, it just like makes you feel good. Normally I would do a much longer workout. I'll do my own workouts after the run. But honestly today I felt so unmotivated to do anything. I just wanted to do this to get outside and get some fresh air. So I'm gonna head inside and probably have a bath. Curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. Hmm? I didn't wash my hair in the bath because I washed my hair last night. I didn't really want to like overwash my hair. So I put it up in like a bun thingy with Bob. And then I went downstairs and had dinner, which was steak and chips, and it was honestly so good. But if you know, I have an obsession with my room being super tidy. So I'm gonna super quickly just tidy my room. It's not really that messy, it's just my desk has loads of stuff on it, and that literally stresses me out so much. face mask i've had it on for about half an hour i'm actually really disappointed because i wanted it to be a peel off face mask and it's not a peel off face mask such first world problems i've basically just been watching the vampire diaries and i was half an hour in and i was like i should probably take off my face mask So basically, I sort of want to do a little bit of online shopping because I also want to treat myself and I love online shopping. Although recently, I've been trying to save my money because I'm just spending it all at the moment. I really want to get... I really want to get like an oversized t-shirt, but like super oversized. So it's almost like a dress, but not really. I'm going to check like the basic websites for the oversized t-shirt, like Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville. this top because it's not just black and i was looking for like a black or gray t-shirt this has been around 10 minutes so i'm gonna take it off because i don't want to die but i am still halfway through online shopping my eyes are gonna start watering <sighs> okay 
There's a tiny bit of residue, so I'm just gonna take that off with some Garnier water. I don't normally use this in my everyday skincare routine, but because it's like a special self-care night, I'm gonna be using the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. It's sort of foamy, but I kind of like it. My skin honestly feels so soft. Okay, I'm gonna stop staring at it. I also have this clear out my Clarins like basically spot cream. It's supposed to be better than Sudocram, but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just gonna try it out. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I just wanna say, I don't understand why this piece of clothing is so expensive. It's probably like a really expensive brand, but it's literally 170 pounds for a piece of cloth. 170 pounds. Why? I, I, what is the reason? What is so special about it? If that's like a really expensive brand and I'm just really stupid, then just let me know in the comments, but. Okay, I'm now on the famous Brandy Melville website. I found these denim shorts and they're literally only 12 99 but they don't have it in my size. I got this oversized gray t-shirt. It was like an ash gray t-shirt and it says Chicago over it. It's already oversized. And then I clicked a medium because I wanted it to be like super, super oversized. I don't know why I'm feeling like a super, super oversized, but I am. I also have a bunch of Brandy Melville items in my bag. So I'm going to go through them, take a few away and I might order some. I'm not 100% sure. I'm also not going to get anything from Urban Outfitters because I literally looked for half an hour on their website and there wasn't anything that I really wanted. Like obviously all the clothing on there is really nice, but I I don't want to just spend all my money and all the tops from brandy melville i literally love so yeah that that's my reasoning i don't even know why i explained that to you guys i don't even care also this is really important i know i'm gonna get so many comments saying oh my god she's so spoiled like you get whatever you want i literally used my own money to buy all of this and also literally all my clothes i pay for myself like i don't need to get it given to me i do get some pocket money every week but i also do extra chores to gain more money i know i'm still gonna get comments saying she's spoiled but please don't comment that because i have feelings too and and I did chores, I worked for the money that I'm using to pay for this. So please, please just don't come at me. Thank you. So now I'm gonna be trying some meditation. I've done this before and it just makes you feel so much more relaxed. I actually used to meditate all the time using the app Headspace, but I literally haven't meditated in such a long time. I'm gonna be using Headspace again just because I know it's like good. Recently, honestly, I haven't actually been that stressed. When I was at school, I was always stressed. Like, I never had a minute for myself. It was literally just school or homework or a club. And I never actually sat down or did something for myself. And also trying to balance YouTube with it was honestly, like, the biggest struggle. So, obviously, I want to go back to school. But I am enjoying just having so much time for myself. That's one thing I literally love about lockdown. I'm eating so much healthier. I'm working out better. I just feel so much better about myself. I'm eating better. I she ate a whole loaf of French stick today. For anyone wondering, this is what the app looks like. And yes, I am on four percent so i'm gonna be charging my phone as i meditate and just maintaining that soft focus as you breathe in just feeling the lungs expand as they fill with air okay so i just finished session one if i'm being honest i actually really enjoyed it the only annoying thing is i literally couldn't get into a comfortable position so i had to move around a few times which i guess distracted me a little bit but like the sound of the guy's voice is just so calming now i feel sleepy so it's kind of late and i'm tired and i'm probably gonna go to sleep soon this is my teddy jelly i was on facetime to a few more people and then I did a bit more online shopping and I want to get a bikini from Pretty Little Thing, which I think is so stunning. I'll put a picture on the screen now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the video here because I'm super tired. I honestly, I honestly really enjoyed tonight. It was so much more chill than most of my other nights. I'm usually either doing a workout or schoolwork or editing or just doing something which I focus to. Whereas tonight, I literally just did online shopping. I watched Netflix. Like, it was such a chill night. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Ignore how I look. I kind of look gross, but it's fine. Here is a half heart because I'm holding my camera. Okay, here's a full heart. Bye.